This is the first chapter of the Inflate Motion Graphics series. In this video, we are going to create this text motion graphics using the extra nodes of the geometry nodes in Blender 4.5. The complete series is available on my Patreon page. In that, I'll show you how to create these kind of motion graphics for different examples and projects. You will get all the project files and the assets. The link is in the video description. Now let's get start. So first, you need the full version of the extra nodes. Uh, you will get this zip file when you unzip that you will get all these files and the documentation so these files for different blender versions so you have to assign one of this folder as as a library in the blender preference so this is the documentation you should read this okay so when you assign that folder as as a library uh, then all the nodes will show up in your asset browser so you can add these nodes from the asset browser or you can add the nodes uh, from this add menu okay first we're going to add the mesh plane this is going to be our host object for the simulation next we're going to add the geometry nodes we don't need this now we need the text so we're going to add the string to curve node here we're going to add the text let's type inflate and also make this at the world center change this to center and this to middle okay so this will be easy for us to align that with the base grid next we need to realize this because these are the instances and here we have to slightly decrease the size and increase the this spacing maybe 1.25 okay next we need the grid we're going to add the grid okay so now let's combine them so that we can see the alignment and also go to the wireframe and increase the this wireframe factor so that we can see all the subdivisions so we need to increase the x axis size 3.25 next we need to subdivide this uniformly so let's first fix the subdivisions along the y axis we have one so we can type like 1 into 10 and here we have this scale 3.25 into 10 now we have this uniform uh, subdivisions next we're going to add the subdivide mesh node so with this we can easily increase the number of subdivisions why we need the higher number of subdivisions because the inflate geometry node works on the polygon basis and it produces more detailed inflated mesh if we have the higher number of subdivisions so you can add that node uh, from here or you can add that node uh, from the asset browser so go to the inflate and you can add that node from the asset browser okay let me inflate this so we're going to plug this into this now if i run the simulation see it is inflating the this grid okay so let's first smooth this next i'll briefly explain the settings of this inflate geometry node but we will explore these settings in depth in respective chapters okay the first setting is the simulation here you can define the start and end frame of the simulation next we have the inflate settings so here you can define the inflate region then you have the strength height step and rate to control the inflating process then you have the smooth settings it's smooth the inflating geometry and next you have the boundary mask then you have the direction by default it's going to inflate the geometry along the normal however you can also define the custom direction 
then you have the self collision uh, based on the distance and also based on the curvature and after that you have the external collisions with the closed meshes and next you have the advanced settings okay for this we have to define this weight okay so you can define this weight using the vertex weight vertex color image texture or the fall of nodes in this case we're going to define this weight based on this string using the fall of node so again uh, you can add the fall of node from the asset browser or you can add that uh, from here so we're going to add that from the asset browser so let me show you the fall of so this is the fall of so we're going to plug that into the weight and here you have four options the first is the static means we can't change this weight uh, during the simulation however if you want to change the weight during the simulation you can use these three options replace minimum and maximum okay now if we run the simulation see it is inflating the geometry based on this text next we have to change the smoothness this is the number of iteration and this is the smooth weight so we're going to decrease the number of iterations to three so that we have less smoothness basically i want to preserve the shape of these letters so that we can identify that uh, when we added the texture to this next we're going to use this weight okay so you can also use this weight you can define your custom mask for this but here you have option to use this weight basically this inflate weight as smooth weight now if we run this it is going to limit the smoothness only for the geometry that is inflating okay and we can also limit our simulation to 120 frames okay we have to also enable the collision so let's go to the self collision enable the collision based on the distance and also use the geometry option inflate mode only detect the collision for the geometry that is inflating but we want to detect the collision for the whole geometry whether it is inflating or not let's see now they are not colliding i think we can slightly decrease this distance okay nice so i think this looks good next we have to add the material so for that we're going to store the uv map of this grid so that is really important change that to 2d vector and this to face corner plug that into this and type here uv map okay now let's go to the first frame and also we're going to add the bake node and change that to animation and then run the simulation okay fine next we're going to hit the bake it is baked now let's add the set material node and here we're going to add the material so we're going to create a new material and then add that here we have this material and uh, let me open the asset browser the inflate system also come with the info nodes you have the inflate info node for the geometry nodes and also inflate info node for the material so we're going to add that here and this node provide all the important attributes of the inflated geometry like weight fall off height boundary mask and collision if there is external collision uh, let me show you this height if i go to the first frame see this height is increasing basically this inflated height so we're going to use this as mask to mix the colors for this okay so let's add the color ramp node and then move this really close to this maybe 0 0.03 and next we're going to also move this slightly 0 0.005 okay so now we have this next we're going to add the image texture so if you have enabled the node regular add-on and then you press ctrl t it's going to add these nodes so let's add the image texture for this i have downloaded this image texture uh, from the pexel.com so we have this bread texture 
next we are going to change the scale of this image texture so that it cover this text properly I think this is fine. Next, we're going to add the mix color node. Okay, plug this into the second socket and this as our factor and make this really dark, maybe something like that. And also decrease the roughness so that we have a shine to this, like uh, based on some butter or oil for this spread. nice next we're going to add the bumps uh, based on this image texture and let me add the math node because we want to limit this only for this text part and make the distance one and let me increase the scale okay and next we're going to add the displacement uh, based on this image texture let's add the displacement node so this as our height and let me duplicate this one so this is going to be the scale for this so let's go to the option and change that to displacement and bump okay i think we have to change this scale maybe negative 0 0.035 and if I increase the this bump strength uh, let me check this I think this looks fine Uh, this is because we have less number of subdivisions we can further enhance these details by adding the subdivision modifier see keep okay, 0.5 is fine next we're going to add the lighting to this so let's first decrease the light uh, from this hdr image okay i think point one is fine so first we're going to add the area light okay and let me first frame this okay then we're going to use this light as our key light somewhere here we need to change this to rectangle okay also increase the power maybe 25 maybe 30 then we can duplicate this or uh, rotate this and move to this side and also increase its size so this is going to be our fill light uh, let me also disable the hdr image from the background I'm using this node setup from the Easy HDR add-on. This is really handy to control the different aspects of this HDR image. Okay. I think we have to decrease this bump strength. Let me decrease this filter width and also this bump strength. I think this looks nice. So now you have this text uh, that is made from bread. Okay. Uh, you can easily change this text. Let me delete the bake and type something else, maybe notes. Now you have this text notes. 
this is it i hope you learned something from this video if you want to learn more about this inflate motion graphics please check out the complete series which is available on my patreon page in that i have shown that how to create these kind of motion graphics for different examples and projects you will get all the project files and assets and also my other content so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noding bye